three subtle ways you can actually cheat in Beyblade. Number one, control the launch. There's a lot to be said for launching. There's different techniques, the shoot launch, the flash launch, but if you really wanna win, you might wanna launch above your opponent. Launching above your opponent's Beyblade gives you a chance to actually land on top of that Beyblade, making it easier to burst. Besides the fact that you could actually snipe shot your opponent's Beyblade, there are many benefits to actually launching in the middle of the stadium. So a controlled launch is a very good strategy and a subtle way to cheat in Beyblade. Number two, a fake launch. No, 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 I'm not talking about what launcher you're using. I'm talking about a fake out, kind of what you do in a sport. By launching after the fact that you say shoot or after your opponent does, you can ensure knowing where they are going to land and of course give you an opportunity to launch above your opponent which will help you get that control of the stadium launching after you shoot or after you say let it rip is yet another way to be a subtle cheater number three if you're ever planning to use these strategies well it better be at a tournament another subtle way to actually cheat in beyblade using new parts for Beyblade tournaments. Now, this might be such a sneaky way to cheat that it won't be caught by anybody. You will know and be sure that the clicks will be strong. The springs on the driver will not be worn and you can make sure that the gimmicks actually work. You see over time and over use, a lot of the Beyblade gimmicks might give out. But have you ever wondered, are all main characters cheaters? Find out in this Beyblade theory. Thanks for watching.